Hello everybody, my name is Spencer, and today we're going to be going through how to make a map for BeamNG. So, before I actually had a video on how to do this, it was almost like, I think it was like a four-part series. Um, I made it back in like 2016 or 2017, and as of right now, it's pretty outdated, just because of how much BeamNG has changed, and how much it, it has evolved since 2016 or 2017. So, I sort of wanted to do a Redux version of it, and this is what that is. I also apologize if you if I sound a little bit snazzly or I cough. I'll probably be cutting out all the coughing. I have a cold right now. Luckily not COVID, but I do have a cold right now. And it's not very nice. And uh, that's why I was able to, um, or that's why I haven't been able to get a uh, video up in a little bit. Anywho, let's begin. So um, down in the description, hopefully, I will be having a download link to the, these two files right here. Um, you're also going to need to install Steam uh, slash Blender. Uh, Blender is on Steam, so you're going to have to download Blender for this. I mean, not this specific episode, but in future episodes, if you choose to follow, you're going to need Blender along with the template map. Uh, so I'll have this download link in the description below. Um, so let's begin. So as for the template map, let's name it to test map one. So you can name it to whatever you actually not, not the one uh, you can name this to whatever you want, because whatever map your name is going to be, just name it this. Um, I mean, not test map, but name it whatever your map name is going to be. So say like, I don't know, like kill cars one, you can name it that. It doesn't really matter. This is just going to be important because whatever your map name is, you're going to want to keep it and not change it. So uh, yeah, so I'll start with test map because that's sort of what we're doing. It's sort of like a test map. I don't know. It's just sort of um, for the tutorial itself. Um, we'll go to levels and then you're gonna want to replace this name. So template map actually, you know what? I'm gonna do it the, the other way too because there's multiple ways of doing this I'm gonna do it by extracting this here uh, Then you can just delete that and then this is the same th sort of thing It just so you don't have to go through win winrar. Um, you're also gonna need win winrar. I forgot to mention that too um, I'll have all these all the links down in the description below for uh, these downloads Anywho, let's get into the level. So if we go to levels, you can right click on template map and then replace the name of that to whatever your name is. I'm just going to refer, whenever I say it, I'm just going to say test map because that's what my map name is, but whatever your map name, just replace that too. So we'll replace that to test map, and then you're going to open that, and then you're going to see all these files. So this one right here, you're going to replace name here, so you're going to replace that name there. Uh, this is just a preview for your map, so whatever the icon you're going to see when you go into BeamNG, this is the thing you're going to see. So if I double click on this, this is your map photo here, and then you're going to... I'll Once we get to the actually releasing the map, or just up, or finishing the map, I will show you how to do this, and uh, do an icon for it. As for the other ones, you can leave the main level.json alone. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can delete this, but I'm not deleting it because I'm not entirely sure if you need to or not. But I am pretty positive you can delete that. You can mess around with that if you want. But this we will never touch, so you can just leave that as it is. As for info, you can click on info, and then you have all these little things. These are just like the things you see before you click on the map, um, just like your title, description, preview, and uh, stuff like that. So we can replace that to whatever we want. Um, I'm going to replace this to test map. Um, I'm going to do that for every single one. Oh, also, you're going to want to keep this preview thing right here the same as whatever your preview thing is here. So it says test map underscore preview, test map underscore preview. So this is sort of the bulk of what your quote unquote coding is going to be. I'm sorry if you see little theme messages down there. But yeah, this is going to be the bulk of what you're going to be doing when you're doing, um, or at least when you're working in Notepad++. Also, I forgot to mention, I keep on forgetting to mention, Notepad++ is going to be needed to do this. You can use any sort of Notepad error, um, but I use Notepad++ because it's pretty easy and uh, I've been used to it. So I'll, I, as I said, I'll have I'll have all these links down in the description below. Also, this first episode is just going to kind of be about the files. I'm not really going to do much about the map. I might load it up and show you that it's working, but that's pretty much it, at least for this first episode. So yeah, as I was saying, you kind of you're just going to need to replace this name to whatever this name is, um, and that's kind of the bulk of what we're going to be doing. So I'm just going to finish up replacing all of these right here. Your test map. Obviously, once you're done with the map, um, you might want to actually put real things in here. Um, not just like the biome test map doesn't make much sense like if you have say you have like a grass map You can be like uh, it's a marsh or something. I don't know whatever your biome is um, But I, I normally just leave these as like the map name just for like a placeholder But you can always change this um, and then as for your author you can put your name or whatever your gamer tag is And then do control s to save that or file uh, save I always press control s because it's pretty easy on your keyboard All right, and then as for this height map thing you can leave this alone um, this main file you can leave alone. You're never really going to be touching this unless you're doing something specific, which maybe we'll get into. I'm not really sure, but normally, most of the time, you're going to have you're not going to want to touch this. 
Um, as for this, you're going to want to go into this. So double click on art and then you have all these extra files. So art is where you're all your sort of customizable files are. So you're going to have a bunch of things that you can modulate um, about this and add to it. And we're going to get into that in the future episodes on how to actually import objects or blender things um, from other files or just from downloading a 3d object online. And this is what's kind of going to hold. And this has, this is where you're going to do all your like importing of files and stuff like that. So we'll start on the list. So we'll start with null. You're going to want to leave this alone. I'm not totally sure what this does, but you can kind of leave that alone. This main.json, I think you can leave this alone. Yeah, just leave this alone. I'm not totally sure. I think I could probably delete this and be fine, but I'm not going to risk anything. Um, as for this, this is the thing that I added. Um, textures. This is just some textures that you can have um, for like metal. And uh, you have a normal map, you have metal, and you have a specular map. Specular map is sort of showing off the reflectivity of the surface in that sort of whiteness that you get from the white when you're looking at it at the right angle it's just sort of showing off that and you have multiple versions of that um and then as for the normal map it sort of makes like a fake bumpiness to it um it sort of just adds fake detail in a way and that's what sort of a lot of games use and that's what i have here so these are just some metal textures that you can add to whatever objects you're doing um currently i have them added to the grid map uh sort of shapes if you go into shapes over here actually the miscellaneous here are the uh grid map shape so I actually have those saved anyway so you can leave the textures alone um, as for terrain you're going to want to go into that and then open this main.materials.json file and then you're going to want to select the levels or um, yeah the levels template map and then you're going to want to press Control F and then uh, you'll see find right here plus replace and then you're going to want to copy this paste this here and then you're going to want to replace the template map with whatever your name map whatever your map name is so in this case mine is test map and then I'm just going to press replace all. And that's going to, what that's going to do is it's going to replace everything that's in here um, to that. And the reason why I didn't just select the, so if I could control Z, um, I, the reason why I didn't select this is because sometimes the name of a certain thing might be like, say, say this was named template map for some reason, it would replace this and, and mess up some kind of material thing. As you can see, it's not doing that, but in other cases it can. And that's why I did that. So um, I just press control Y to redo that. But uh, yeah, so just do that and uh, make sure that you don't override anything. Let me press Control S there, or Control um, Save, or just File Save. Let me exit out of that, and then you're pretty much done with these materials. Um, I will go over how to work with this in a different um, video and how to actually work with terrain textures and import your own ter terrain textures in future videos. So if we back to Art, we're gonna go to Skies. Skies, you don't have to do anything with. This is just sort of a sky that you can use if you want. Um, let's go into shapes. So this is what I actually went over a little bit ago. So we only have two things added. As I said, you can pretty much add whatever you want. Um, we're going to go through that. We're going to add like buildings and stuff and things from like maybe Utah, um, East Coast, whatever. And I'm going to show you how to import those. So we'll start with ground cover actually. And then this is sort of just a grass that you can add for your terrain. Um, you can always add more and we'll get into that in the future, obviously. This tutorial is going to be pretty long. Not this one specifically, but this series is going to be quite long. Just going through simple different things. I aim these videos to be maybe like 10 or 15 minutes long, not too long. Um, I was going to do like a long video on how to do this, but I'm going to break it up for myself and make like just like short tutorials on it and uh, hopefully it works. Anyways, so let's open the main materials.json file. And then as you can see, you have the similar thing to the terrain. Um, you're going to obviously select the levels template map there and then go to replace. And then you can, and as you can see, it saves it here. So you can kind of just press replace on it works and obviously make sure that you select the full thing and not just this because that won't that will kind of mess things up um so just make sure you select the whole thing there and then press Control s and then you can exit out of that and then as for the misc file right here you're just going to do the exact same thing go down to that on um, the main dot materials that json and then you're going to want to go down to here and then do the exact same thing just like that Control f Control f sorry um, i don't know if i mentioned that sorry uh press Control f for that i don't know if uh sorry if i messed somebody up there i might put like a text beforehand of that um, and you're going to want to go to replace and then do the exact same thing. Uh, exit out of that, control S to save and back out of that. And then as for the decals, you're going to want to do the exact same thing. Um, it's kind of just all replacing it because it's just telling you where it's going in the directory. And uh, it's pretty simple. It's like the most simple coding you can do. I don't know anything about coding and this is pretty much bare bones. Um, you can leave this alone too. All right. And for finishing up the map itself, so we're pretty much done. Um, so you're going to want to go back um, to where it says levels and you're going to right click on that and then you go to add, add to archive. Obviously you're going to need WinRAR installed so make sure you have that installed. So press add to archive and then uh, basically you're just going to select a zip right here and then you're going to name this to your map name. So test map, oh that's not right, test map. 
um, or whatever your map name is, and then press OK and wait for it to do its thing. And then you can delete this because this is the same um, file. It's just zipped up for BMG to understand. So the next thing is you're going to want to open the mod section. So this is the directory that you're going to want to go to. So you're going to want to go to your um, whatever thing your BMG is in, uh, installed under, um, which more th happens to be um, the C drive, I think it's called. Yeah, the local disk right here. Um, and then you want to go to users and then whatever your name is. So mine is Sting for some reason. Um, and then go to app data, local, BMG, and then 0 0.4 or whatever the update is. So 0 0.5 in the future and then so on. And then mods. And then you're just going to want to drag your test map in here. Oh, that's not test map. There we go. Drag the test map in there. And now if you launch up BMG, you should see the map in there. So let me launch the game and I will be back with you once that's done. So now we're in BMG. So if I press free roam right here. Your, where's the map? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's al it goes by alphabet, medical letters, I think. Um, test map should be down where T is. Here it is. So test map right here, your photo, your map photo here. So these are sort of the thumbnail that we will change in the future. Um, so if you click on it, then you double click on this, you should be able to load into the map. It shouldn't take too long, um, probably about like 10 seconds. And then ooh, we are in, and as you can see, there's absolutely nothing in this map as it is just a... Uh, bare bones thing to work off from so this will conclude our first episode of this new tutorial that i'm doing and uh, obviously i hope you found i hope you found this helpful in any way and if you did please drop a like down below and i'm excited to continue the series and teach you a lot of new things um well not new things but a lot of things that may be new to you in bmg map making slash modding um i will not be going through how to make a vehicle as i do not know how to make a vehicle i would love to do a series on that but i have no clue myself so me trying to teach that would not work at all but yeah i hope you have a good day and uh see you in the next one bye